Hey guys, so uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to talk about the Hourglass uh, Mineral Veil Primer. Um, and I just have um, a smaller size. I didn't buy the full size because it is quite pricey. Um, and it seems like a lot to spend on a primer in my opinion. Um, but I have heard so many good things about it, so I did want to check it out and um, review it for you guys. So um, right now it is almost 6 o'clock, and I put my makeup on at um, 8 o'clock this morning, so it's almost been about 10 hours. And um, I am really impressed. Um... My, I have pretty oily skin, and I've used other primers before. Um, I don't really like the really silicone-y feeling primers. Um, I mean, they're okay. I just don't really like the feeling of them. And this one is not really like that. It kind of it has um, a little pump, which I like. And it comes out kind of like a just white um, cream, I guess. And when you rub it in... It doesn't feel, it just feels like silky and nice and it rubs all the way in um, and then I just kind of let it sit and dry just a little bit, make sure it really, you know, sunk into my skin and really all I used is one pump. Um, I focused it more on my T-zone, um, you know, on, around my cheeks and then I kind of blended it out um, around my face where I don't need it quite as much and um, I wasn't expecting, I mean, I guess part of me was expecting, you know, really good things because I have heard good things from other people, but at the same time, I'm like, my skin's oily, I just feel like nothing's going to work, just something I'm going to have to deal with. Um, and for me, I have to blot quite a bit throughout the day, um, or, you know, re-kind of powder or, um, something like that or my face just looks super oily especially like right through here and then definitely my forehead um that would be and then my chin you know obviously my t-zone um and so I was kind of expecting that to be the same um so anyways I put this on I put my foundation over top and then you know I went to work I waited about three hours before I even you know, went and looked in the mirror. I was like, okay, I just want to let it go for a little while and then go look and see what, you know, what's going on. Um, it was a little bit shiny, uh, mostly really just my chin. And, um, I was really pleasantly surprised in that it wasn't nearly as oily as it normally is. Um, and I was just like, okay, let's see, you know, I, I blotted a little bit and then I kind of went back to, you know, my day and, um, that was about at 11 o'clock, I would say, and I have not done a single thing since and I've taken a nap, um, and <laughs> my makeup is still on and I mean, there's a little, just a tiny bit of shininess, um, you know, on my forehead, a little bit, you know, but nothing like nearly what my skin usually does. Um, so for me, this is like huge, <laughs> you know, um, and so I'm, I'm really excited. Um, I do, I think this will last a long time, um, because you, I really only needed like one little pump and, um, this bottle has uh 0.33 fluid ounces um so and i paid like 18 dollars i think for this um which again it's not that cheap <laughs> but um for me if it's going to keep my makeup on um and keep my oil at bay <laughs> um it's worth it to me i didn't even set my makeup with a spray or anything which a lot of the times i do i just wanted to see um what this would do and so i mean honestly i you know feel like even with a setting spray too like it would probably be even even better um so I do recommend this if you have oily skin and or even I don't know it would probably work for dry skin too but you have um a hard time keeping your makeup on um it just feels like it slides off your face I really recommend this at least like getting a sample maybe and trying it out um to see if it works for you 
Um, because it is so expensive, I, I don't know if I would go out and like buy it because again, things work differently for different people. Um, but for me, I'm super impressed. Um, again, it's been about 10 hours and I will come in a little bit closer. Um, you know, I, and I didn't really put like a full, I put a pretty light coverage of foundation on. So, um, obviously you can still see my dark circles, but that's just me. <laughs> and, um, but for the most part, I'm pretty impressed. I, I think it looks good. It doesn't look greasy. Um, that's what I find. I feel like a lot of times my face looks greasy and it's just disgusting. Um, and again, I haven't, I blotted one time today and that is like unheard of for me. Um, so I'm really, really excited. And um, again, I just applied this with my fingers and then applied my foundation over top. I was going to do a demo, but... Um, it's obviously you can see the lighting is not that good because it's like it's kind of stormy outside which I feel like that's all it's been lately um but so I was going to film me actually putting it on this morning but it was even darker and there was just no light so I was like okay that's not gonna work um uh and plus I all I did was just apply it with my hands I just you know put a little bit on between my fingers rubbed it together and then just applied it in my t-zone and then blended it outwards so um yeah and um i'm trying to think if there's anything else i can think of to add about this product um i do think it's definitely worth the hype um so if you're looking for a really good primer um i would check this out uh see if you can get a sample of it see if it works for you um and yeah, that's it. I will be back with more videos shortly. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope it. I hope this was helpful. I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys are all having a great day and a great week. And um, yeah, I will see you guys later. Uh, make sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe. Um, bye.